Hello and welcome back to Boxing Social in association with Betfred. My name is Eamon Khan. We're here in commentary. Wrapped up the Boxer Series tournament. With me is one and only Adam Smith. Adam, boxing rights, story, makes stories. T uh, tonight, Dylan Chima wrote his own story, winning the Boxer Series. Yeah, Dylan Chima was uh, fantastic, wasn't he? I mean, the whole tournament was great. Uh, sometimes when you get you know, eight fighters together, you don't know how it's going to go. The draw, the, the styles all matching, but... There was something in the water this week. I, I just felt that all eight of them, they all believed that they were going to win. They've trained so hard for this moment. And, uh, and that's what it does. It provides an opportunity for unheralded young fighters, for you know, stars of the future. And um, for many of them, it was their first you know, taste of anything like this under the lights, you know, with the big platform, with uh, the razzmatazz. And they handled it fantastically well. They were brilliant in the build-up. Uh, and in the ring tonight, every single fight was fascinating in its own way. There were stoppages, there was just high octane action from start to finish. The final was the, the, the best final you could possibly have. The two who deserved to be there, the two who gave it their all. I mean, the bottle, the courage. Ryden Charlton, I mean, he was, he was terrific. But so was Scott Melvin, and, and so was Joe Underwood Hughes as long as he was in there. And so were they all. You know, Sean Cooper boxed really well in his first quarter final. I just thought every one of them can go back with their head held, held high. Even Brooklyn, you know, the young, young baby of the bunch who. who you know, it was the fans picked to be in here and he was, you know, stepping up so many levels. But I just thought they all did well and they can they can be very pleased with their performances. They entertained us and the fans royally. And it was a fantastic night for Dylan. And he said that he'd do it. You know, he said he'd give us the best ring walks and the best performances and win the 40K. But the best thing about it, he doesn't even really mind about the 40K. He's got very successful family businesses. He says he does it for the love of it. And I'll tell you what, it's going to be a great story going forward. And I'm really pleased to be back in Coventry. It's been a long time. It was a real hotbed for us in the early days of Sky. And maybe we can have some good times again here. Just a couple of things away from this. Uh, Connor Ben beating Chris Van Heerden in two rounds. Obviously, you won't have had the chance to see it. Amir, I know Amir Khan stepping through and rejecting the challenge of Connor Ben afterwards. Uh, would that be a fight you'd want to see or not want to see in terms of Connor Ben there? I want to see Connor Ben against all sorts of fighters. He's great, he's exciting. He's a, he's a real throwback, Connor. I love his attitude and um, obviously being Nigel's son, he's, he's always going to have that name. You know, will he ever fight Chris Eubank Jr.? You know, there's all those sort of talks. But yeah, if you're looking at Amir or, or Kel, or, I mean, there's so many fights out there. Florian Marku wants him, doesn't he? I mean, I think there's, there's, there's terrific fights out there for Connor Ben. I haven't seen the performance. I'm not surprised that he beat Van Heerden, hopefully in style. And uh, I did see Jordan Thompson earlier, who I thought was brilliant. But, um, but yeah, it's very difficult when you've got clashes and I can't wait to see all the action from tonight. And I'm sorry that you told me that he won, so I now don't know. It would have been a surprise, but that doesn't matter. I, it's, it's OK. I just haven't had time because we've been obviously relentless with this. But congratulations to Connor. He's a great guy. Final question, Ian. And I apologise because I, I hate spoilers as well. So sincerely, I apologise. No I did I drive home anyway, so it, would, it wouldn't have happened for a while. I did ask you in the lead about your thoughts on Fury Wipe. I didn't pin you down for a prediction. I know you're not normally a predictions man, Adam, yeah. but who do you favour? out of the two yeah I'm not really and you know I'm not calling the fight but I'm working on it so I think that Tyson obviously starts a, a favorite you know you've got to say that he's undefeated he's come back from those amazing times with, with Deontay Wilder he's proved himself away from that but I would say you know right Dillian White off at your peril he's got a fantastic left hook he's got a heart of a lion he's a warrior he's waited for this opportunity for years I know Dillian really well he ducks nobody he'll give it absolutely everything I can't see this going the distance I think it's going to be dramatic um, yeah I, I would say that you know the the favorite is Tyson Fury but I mean Dillian White has got a real chance in there and I cannot wait to see it actually happen Adam, thank you so much for speaking to Boxing Social.